be taking a look at macOS Sonoma 14.4. So this update uh, came out a few days ago uh, on my 2018 MacBook Air. It actually came in just a little over two gigabytes. So there are several new features here uh, in this update. So let's go ahead and talk about them. So first off, there are a lot of things here that are kind of shared with iOS 17.4. So if you want to know more in depth about some of those features, be sure to check out my video uh, dedicated to iOS 17.4. But anyways, uh, some of those feature highlights include uh, things like the new iMessage PQ3 uh, standard. So this is a new encryption standard that Apple has come out with, allows uh, more security and uh, stuff going forward there for iMessage. There's also uh, new emojis here in iMessage for you to use. Um, and there's just a other few updates, you know, there's uh, business updates and messages as well. So people that kind of opt in if they have a business lets you get updates uh, like your order status, flight notifications, fraud alerts, etc. Uh, it's kind of like the Apple support, how you do it through messages, um, but you'll be able to get updates as that goes on. There's also a few kind of uh, UI changes here uh, throughout. So I know one of them has to do with the podcast app uh, as well as music and books. So there's now a new home tab instead of a uh, listen now, or I can't remember uh, what it was before that, but uh, there's just a few changes here and there. But like I said, I went more in depth with those. A lot of features are shared here uh, through uh, iOS 17.4. Now the cool thing of course also is there are some new splash screens uh, that you're going to get so if you go into podcast or something uh, you might get a new screen uh, there as well. Speaking of Apple Podcasts there is also some more features that are shared uh, from 17.4. You now have the ability to see podcast transcripts so if we were to go into one of these podcasts and we started playing it we can then see a full transcript of the episode and we can also uh, search for certain words or phrases uh, in that transcript and we would be able to click on those and play it from that certain point. So that's very helpful if you pull up a podcast and you want to listen uh, to a certain section or maybe you want to see if there's a topic in there that somebody talks about. You could search for that and then you could just click on it and start listening from that point. Also, we can go ahead uh, and talk about there's another update here in Mac OS. Uh, if we go into Safari, and if you look over here, there is uh, your favorites bar. You can choose to put that in here. Well, now you have the ability to hide the title here. So if you right click, you can hit that, and you can see that that title will disappear. So you can have just the icons uh, instead of the title of your favorites bar. So that is pretty cool there. And then last but not least, of course, there are some bug fixes and things like that, but there's also Apple security updates um, here. So if you scroll down on their security page, you can go to Sonoma 14.4 and you can see all the security related items that have been addressed for you. So scroll down here and you can see those right here. But yeah, a lot of the features in this update are shared, like I said, with 17.4. So there's really not anything quite new to talk about uh, if you already know what it is in 17.4. I will say though here on my computer there is one kind of bug that I've been experiencing uh, since I downloaded this update and it has to do with focus statuses so I've noticed that my focus status even though I have indicated in my settings that I want it to sync uh, across my devices it is no longer syncing uh, with this computer. So I'm not sure if that's just a little glitch or that's a bug in the software, but there'll be times where, you know, I have like a work status and I'll come home and it's still uh, on work status. There's times where the sleep uh, is still like enabled. So it has no issue, I guess, enabling them. It just doesn't disable them. So I have all mine set on timers and locations and things like that. So right now, like before I got on the computer today to make this video, I had to disable my sleep focus. So I'm not sure if that might just be a random glitch with me, but let me know if you have that problem in the comments down below. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you today in this video. Thanks for watching. Check out the channel and I will see you on the next one.